Hi guys, as the software continues to grow, we thought it would be a good time to provide a new walkthrough to get people up to speed with the features and customizations available. Be sure to check the description for links to more resources and timestamps for each section covered. Kovac 2.0 currently supports two different training environments, the Sandbox and the Trainer. The Sandbox features custom community-made maps, leaderboards, visual and auditory customization, and extensive settings options. The Trainer is an exciting branch of the software that is in early development and facilitates an AI-guided aim training experience. When you first launch the game, you will be prompted with the sign-up screen. It's simply there to store performance data for the Trainer. You can't ignore this step if you just want to play in the Sandbox. If you're in the Trainer and want to enter the Sandbox, click on the Sandbox tab or double-click the big red target. If you're in the Sandbox and want to go to the Trainer, hit Escape and click on the Trainer. The game will launch into whichever environment you last exited from. Let's take a look at the sandbox. On the left we have the scenario browser. There are currently three main tabs. Online scenarios features a list of every scenario created by our amazing community that has been uploaded to the workshop. You can click on the podium icon to show the leaderboard, the plus to add it to a playlist, and the arrow to download the map locally. The Local Scenarios tab shows maps that are saved locally, so if you weren't connected to the internet, or perhaps the Steam Workshop was down, you could play your favourite scenarios from here, as long as you have them downloaded. This is also where you are able to edit scenarios, which is something we'll cover in another video. The Local Playlist tab is home to the Playlists feature. We've populated it with some defaults, but you can easily create your own through Create New Playlist at the bottom. As for the settings, you can change just about everything. The main tab is where you will configure your sensitivity and field of view. If you have any questions about how to set your sensitivity up in Kovacs, we'll link to some helpful blogs and videos in the description. It's worthwhile having a browse through all of the options available to you, but we'll cover the highlights here. At the bottom of the main settings tab, you can adjust the workshop cache duration. This means those occasional longer loads that update your scenarios would occur less often, depending on what time you set. The number in this field is in hours, so the default is 24 hours, and the maximum duration you can set is 168 hours between updates. The Keybinds tab allows you to set bindings for everything within the game. One helpful bind we'll point out is Reset Session, which allows you to instantly restart a challenge without going through the Escape menu, and if you use this key in free play, it will reset your statistics instead. The Weapons tab lets you customize things like your crosshair, what firing sounds like, what your hit sounds like, how your hit markers look, and whether your weapon is visible. You can upload custom sounds and crosshairs by pasting them into the appropriate folder in your Kovac 2.0 installation folder. Users have shared all sorts of profiles in our Discord if you want to check them out. This is also where you will go to adjust your ADS or scope sensitivity. Each scenario uses a certain weapon profile, so you will need to enter the scenario of your choice, then navigate to the weapons menu, click the drop down and choose that weapon. You can also open a weapon settings by clicking on the cog in the hotbar while playing. From here, you can adjust the field of view and zoom sensitivity. Zoom sense auto scale would be the best one to one feeling, but not all games use this, so you can uncheck it and enter whatever is appropriate for your game of choice. The video tab is home to all your usual graphical settings. We highly recommend playing on full screen for optimal performance as windowed and full screen windowed can introduce input lag, not just in Kovacs, but in any game. The visuals tab will let you customize the texture and color of your walls, floors, and skies, and change the color of your targets. You can also adjust decal time, which is the duration bullet holes will stay visible. The sounds tab houses your typical sound settings, but it also allows you to customize your kill confirm sounds and spawn sounds. The UI tab lets you alter what elements are visible on screen while playing. Ticking a box will hide it, and you can also move UI elements around with the button at the top. Let's hop over to the trainer and check that out. At the time of this video, it supports Overwatch and Fortnite weapons, and a flicking skill tree to progress through, with more games and skill trees to come in the future. Depending on your goals, select a game and weapon you would like to practice with, Hit launch and you will be guided through progressively more difficult levels by the AI. If you don't play Overwatch or Fortnite, but you would like to train your flicks here, it is recommended to select Overwatch and the ASP weapon. When playing, the trainer will track the time it takes for you to move from the reload sphere to the target 
and if the movement is quick enough, it will credit you with a successful flick. Try to avoid slowly and deliberately clicking on targets, as you won't earn flicks and will not progress. The settings are much the same as in the sandbox, but still worth having a look over. One thing to note is that the field of view is currently locked to 80 for Fortnite and 103 for Overwatch. Stay tuned for more options coming in the future. We hope you found this walkthrough helpful. If you are looking for more info on advanced features like editing scenarios, creating recoil patterns and so on, we welcome you to experiment and head to our Discord and stay tuned for a future video. Thanks for watching and please let us know what you would like us to cover next.